Welcome to Fast Performance TV. I'm Claudio Encina. How effective is your time management? One of the number one questions that I receive as a coach is, how can I be more effective with my time management, Claudio? I feel like I'm reactive to my day rather than proactive. Well, here's a couple of tips so you can stay proactive every day in your business so you can start to become really, really profitable, especially with your time. We don't have much of it, so you want to protect it. First thing that you want to develop is a morning routine. Every day, Monday to Friday, set a morning routine and try to create some really, really good habits. Then what you want to try and do is protect that time in your morning routine. The second thing that you want to do is look for new and future business. How do you do that? Is have a time to have lead generation and appointment setting time. Really simple, easy to do, but easy not to do. The other thing that you want to have is buyer appointments, set that right now. We're in a market that's probably one of the best we've seen in 10 years. Buyers are everywhere. If you're not making a time to bring all your buyers through at a certain time each day or each week, guess what? You're gonna feel like you're totally reactive to your business every day. The other bit that you wanna have in your diary is listing presentations. So make sure it's in your diary to block out in the afternoon to have face-to-face -face appointments. This business of real estate is all about getting face-to-face -face with people. The last one that you wanna do, which I don't love if you don't have a PA or a CSM, as they call it, client service managers in your business, you may need to put in your own diary if you're a one-man agent at this stage before you grow to the next level, servicing your business. All the systems that need to be done, anniversary letters, letters to go out to, the, to your farm area, deals, whatever it may be, I call that the red stuff, which is really more about like sticking to the admin, okay? I remember a good coach of mine said, Claudio, do you have a PA? And I said, no. He goes, well, guess what? You are the PA. So until you grow to a level that you can employ a PA, guess what? You need to put that in your diary. So just to finally finish off this little bit is analyze your calendar. I do this little exercise with a lot of my clients all the time. For the next two weeks, just monitor and analyze your calendar. And if you believe it's a dollar productive activity, highlight it in green. If you believe it's relating to admin, highlight it in red. And then over the next two weeks, work out how much percentage of your time each week are you spending on the red stuff, which is making you about that much money, versus the green stuff, which is making you the green dollars. Work out exactly over the next two weeks. So analyze the calendar and look for the opportunities. The other thing that you wanna do as you're setting up the calendar is look at ways to create habits. Look at ways that you're gonna set the same time every day, every week around lead generation. Okay, so then you're in that mental focus type of energy that you can get into each day. And finally, guys, the last thing that you want to think about as a final tip, as you start to get time management, learn to say no. Exactly. When someone wants to come and distract you, that is the biggest thief of time. And don't give your power away. Stay in control and you make sure that you carry and don't let anyone take that power away from you. Okay, guys. Hope these little tips today around time management can help you become much more effective and be more proactive rather than reactive. Remember, stay in control, stay focused, and always stay in action.